I got a request for law of cosines from user 1234, which is kind of creepy because that's my password. So here's a triangle. They gave us the three sides of the triangle and they want us to find angle D. The easiest way to solve this would be using law of cosines. Before we start, let's name our sides. So opposite the angle F, we want to put a lowercase F. Opposite our capital D, we want to put a lowercase D. And then opposite our capital G is a lowercase G. This just makes it way easier to work with instead of calling them F, D, D, G, and G, F. Here's the law of cosines as you typically see it. Since since we're trying to solve for angle D, we want this to be a capital D here instead of a capital A. And we need this side to be the side opposite of this angle. So we're going to write it as our lowercase d squared and our cosine D. And now our other two sides are G and F. So in the place of B and C, we're going to put G and F. We're trying to solve for D, so I'm going to drag that down. We're going to plug in 18 for this D, 14 for the G's, and 6 for the F's. And then we'll copy down the rest of the formula. 18 squared is 324, 14 squared is 196, 6 squared is 36 and 2 times 14 times 6 is 168. And then we'll copy down the rest of the formula. 196 plus 36, that's equal to 232. The reason we didn't also do this minus 168 is it's attached to the cosine D. So we can't combine these three terms. We're stuck with just these two terms. We'll deal with the 168 later. So then we'll bring down everything else. So I'm going to subtract 232 from both sides. The left side, it gives me 92. This cancels, which just gives me the negative 168 cosine D on the right hand side. Now we divide both sides by by negative 168. So these cancel. So it just gives me cosine D equals negative 92 over 168. Now let's swap these. And then we're going to take the cosine inverse of both sides. When we take the cosine inverse of the cosine, we're left with just our angle, angle D. And on the right hand side, we're going to take the cosine inverse of negative 92 over 168. If it's easier to picture it, we can add some parentheses. And we plug it into our calculator, we get 123.2 degrees. So that is what our angle D is equal to. And that's the answer to the question. If you guys want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com. The name of the page is law of cosines. Here's the link right here. Number five is a problem we just did. We solved for D and we got 123. And then there's also the other angles are listed here. And you can try out some more of these. Thanks for the request. You guys are awesome. Comment on anything else you'd like me to solve and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.